What's up guys, this is Claire and I will be flying solo today as we dive into what will almost certainly be some very cursed content. I'm going to be drawing some ghost type Pokemon based on their original Gen 1 sprites. More specifically, their original red and green sprites. So the very earliest possible sprites, which look a little bit rough to be polite. I'm going to be drawing them in MS Paint exclusively with my mouse. Before we let things get too messy, I'm going to take a moment to give a shout out to our patrons who help make these antics possible with their support through their Patreon pledges. If you would also like to help support subjectively, consider checking out our page through the link below. Additionally, consider checking out our sponsor, Inked Gaming. They offer tons of unique, customizable TCG and PC gaming merchandise and apparel designed by independent artists. They also have board games and card games that would enhance any self-respecting Halloween party. Check them out with the link in our description, and don't forget to use the offer code SUBJECTIVELY10 for 10% off your entire order at checkout. Okay, back to business. So my original concept for this video was to draw all the ghost Pokemon from Gen 1, but I pretty quickly realized that a whole video with only three Pokemon might be kind of boring. So I'm actually just going to be drawing a select few Gen 1ers that I feel kind of embody the Halloween spirit. Also, as I'm sure many of you already know, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with MS Paint, which can be painfully observed in a certain previous video. Recording that video broke me a little bit, I think, because I ended up putting something like 40 plus hours into drawing the subject, which I still didn't finish in time to publish the video. Um, apparently though, that experience was not enough to deter me from creating for myself yet another personal Microsoft Paint hell. So how can we get that authentic 2002 MS Paint experience? Well, we can start by scrapping the tablet. Also, we aren't using any of those fancy new brush tools. We have honor here at Subjectively. I don't think I can put this off any longer, so let's jump in. Um, I'm looking over the list of original red and green sprites here. As you can see, there are some real winners in this list. You're all winners! <laughs> but like I said, we are going to be specifically looking for Pokemon that are a little bit spooky and Halloween-y. So the first one I have here this is Ekans. Okay, so this Ekans, uh, him scream. He looks kind of angry, so let's try and capture that too. Uh, okay, let's um get rid of this part. We're gonna give ourselves Bye. a second chance here. Okay, <laughs> this is pretty good so far. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he kind of has. <laughs> Towards the caboose area, he kind of just gets this uh, snowman stack of body parts. And then there's a little like nippy up there. So I think one of the most important things about capturing the charm of the original red and green sprites, they have very unique expressions. Ekans here, if I had to psychoanalyze him a little bit, as you can see, he is screaming, but he he kind of has like a look of determination. Well, I thought this was gonna be cursed, but this looks pretty good. Um, goes like that. Should I have done this differently? Okay, so <laughs> this is our uh, red and green Gen 1 Ekans. All right, let's get a little side-by-side -side <laughs> action going. <laughs> Does that look right? <laughs> Actually, it's pretty close, I think. Okay, so next we are tackling a fan favorite. This is Gengar. Kind of thick. Damn, actually. Oh, he's kind of like fluffy too. 
So Gengar is one of only three ghost type Pokemon from the first generation. We were kind of capturing the huskiness of Gen 1 Gengar. <laughs> I, oh, and I, oh. So what I learned from the last one is since I'm using multiple colors, I should just do some of my outlining in this color. So we're gonna capture his, <laughs> We're gonna capture his mischievous grin. So I know that Gengar is a lot of people's favorite Pokemon. So to those people, I'm sorry. Something I have always liked about the coloring on the original ghost type Pokemon is they have this kind of like luminous black, if that makes sense. Modern interpretations of Gengar kind of lose some of that weird cool black except for i'm gonna say I, I don't know if anyone actually played pokin but gengar in that game looks so cool i just made the grimace i'm not loving this i feel like his armpit needs to not come up to his eyes i do feel like the stance is right all right so he has these little pupils got some like spots some shading I'm actually gonna attempt some shading on this okay I'm actually not going to do that I'm yeah um okay so this is Gengar you know I would be his friend I would say <laughs> damn he's thick you know <laughs> I mean come on Okay, so the next Pokemon I want to tackle is probably not a Pokemon most people would associate with Halloween, and I get it. Um, I wouldn't associate Executor with Halloween under normal circumstances either. However, uh, check out the sprite. Um, <laughs> and personally, I think this is pretty scary. I don't know about you guys. Um, if you disagree, I, I'm sorry. Hopefully, okay, I'm reading that. Okay, so phase one. Um, right, let's try and get the leafy greens on top. I think I made them too big. Let's shrink this. Let's just finesse this. So to be perfectly honest, as much as I felt with some of the previous sprites that there was still a semblance of the original. I'm really not feeling that with this one. Actually, hang on a minute. <laughs> oh no. To be honest, this particular Pokemon is probably the one I've been looking forward to the most. This is the red and green sprite, which is not quite as charming as the red and blue sprite, but what I find particularly charming about him are these eyes. He's a little bit cheeky. I would be cheeky too if I had a body like that. He's happy because it's Halloween. All right, wings up like that. Oh. So one of my favorite parts of this particular iteration of Golbat is his knees they're kind of toned oh no i'm giving him an ass that's fine actually this guy has never skipped leg day in his life you have to capture his menacing squat all right he's kind of got a weird highlight here for some reason so let's go ahead and add that and then the ears Oh, they're mostly white. Uh, we'll skip that. All right, well, here's our goal bat. Um, I, <laughs> I would put him on my team. All right, so rounding out today's Uki Gen 1 Pokemon is Drowsy. So the, the lore behind Drowsy is he lurks in the shadows of big cities and he preys on the nightmares of children. Oh God, pretty shifty, kind of a shifty guy. I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and his arm comes out of his face here. I have not thought this out super well. Hand does not have space. While they were designing the original sprites, I, I know that they only had so many pixels and they had to take some artistic liberties while designing the original 150 Pokemon. But I can't help but feel maybe there was a way to do certain things better. His feet are shiny, which is interesting to me. It kind of seems like he's rubbery, r the way these highlights are placed. All right, let's grab our second highlight. This is a very well-lit knee. Okay, so here's our drowsy. I'm gonna say, overall, um, one of the better Pokemon, I think, one of the better results so far in this journey. You know, I say it, I say it looks good, and then I shrink it, and I need to just, I need to not say it before I get the side by side. He looks like a deflated balloon. All right, well, Drowsy's a... <laughs> I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video at my expense. Let me know what you think of my renditions of these Pokemon. Let me know if you think I should do this again. Let me know if you think I should ever draw again. Would love to see what you guys have to say. And thanks for watching. We will see you later this week.